Hello, everyone, and welcome to Peter's house. I don't know what's going on in Peter's house, but uh, review, we're about to find out. Steve, phone rings. Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi, Steve. This is Peter. I need help moving some boxes tonight. Sure, we can definitely help you with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job? Yeah, I have a few boxes that I need to move into a new house. I'll be out tonight, so the door will be unlocked. Well, why would you do that? Excuse me. Okay, I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Sure, my address is 619 Main Street. Great. I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? Nope, that's all. Thank you much, Steve. Loves and kisses. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. You too. Thanks again. And here we are. Like, that simple. Okay. Left mouse button interact. Right mouse button to release. This one says it must go into the kitchen. Okay. Well, let's... Oh, who... That looks fucking scary. What is that? <laughs> Six like some eyeballs out there. Also, sorry if I sound a little bit congested. Or nasally. Got something going on. Oh my god. So loud. Yeah, I got a little bit of a... Something nasally going on. This is the smallest kitchen. Should probably hurry up with the box so I can grab something to drink later. First thing I do when I come to this guy's house is just start stealing his food. Okay. This is, uh... Yeah. Ugh. Like hair in my mouth. Ew. Hello? Okay, enough of that. That's too loud. I turned you off. Off. Okay. This one says it must go into the kitchen. Alright. Bam. Man, I'd hate to be a box mover. This one doesn't say where it goes. Maybe I should open it. Uh, yeah. How about not do that? Oh! Bloody knife. And book. The Betrayal of a Friend, Part 1. I never should have told my best friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness, a slip of the tongue. But what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me. Who couldn't comprehend the power that I held. When I asked him where she was, when, I, when he asked where she was, I casually replied that she was buried. He laughed it off, not realizing it was dead serious. But I knew I couldn't take any more chances. 18th of February, 2023. I excused myself to go to the bathroom, but instead I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it into his back. He let out a pathetic gasp gas before crumbling to the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove. Another person who didn't belong in my world. Wow. Mr. Uh, I think I'll just leave this here. Yeah, that's not my business. Hello? Anyone walking by? Oh, I wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Open that back up. Eyeballs are gone. There was eyeballs right there. I was right. Okay. Baby's bedroom. Is that this? No. Who has a bedroom right across from the front door? I feel like that is... That is not okay. Bam. Gotta keep moving the boxes. Oh, another no-name box. Got some glasses and a journal. The Snoop Part 1. I was sure I had covered my tracks, but her sisters were getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. Couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was on a trip, and she won't be back anytime soon. But she wasn't buying it. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. 
In a moment of frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and struck her over the head. Her glasses flew off her head. She crumbled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lied there, gasping for air. Gra grasping, gasping, I keep saying that. Gasping for air, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Bedroom. Just continue with my day. Oh. Jesus, save me. Fix the lights. So where's the baby in the picture? Because if you killed your wife and your friend, and I think her sister, I mean, you got to take care of this baby all on your own. That is not easy. All right, we got two more, three more boxes. Okay, we got another unknown, unknown one, some wedding rings. The end of a marriage. I can't believe it when she threatened to leave me. They're all I've done for her. After all I've done to kill her friends. She had the audacity to suggest that we were, that we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I didn't, I did anything that bad. Surely I killed it. <laughs> Because it was barking too loudly. And it was really starting to piss me off. It's not like I haven't killed small animals before. Pigeons, rats, what's the difference? But she couldn't handle it, it this time. She caught me in the act. Holding the dog's ear in my hand like some sort of trophy. That's when she threatened to divorce me. Threatened? I would have left you that moment. I couldn't let her leave. I had to make her understand that I was in control. Now whenever I look at the ring, I'm reminded of how powerful I am. This guy's got a real god complex. He needs the cross on the ceiling. Okay, so what do I do now? Because I've separated all the boxes. All this work has made me thirsty. I should get something to drink before I leave. Let me just raid this guy's this murderous fridge. <clears throat> so, you got any brewskis in here for me? Oh, I didn't want mind if you take some of my juice. Time to go. Yeah, after he's in the house. Hello? Oh, he's in the bathroom, isn't he? Hi, I just need to come take a shit. Oh, it's locked, damn it. Really wanted to go in there. Can't go anywhere. All right, let's leave. Okay. I can't leave. No. Wait, there's an extra box here. Ew. It's fucking gross. The vanishing act. I like how everything's part one. It was only a matter of time before someone realized that my wife and her sister were missing. My wife's other sister, the one I had spared, had grown suspicious and went to the police. I knew I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left town. When I knew that wasn't enough, the detectives would come looking for me, asking questions I couldn't answer. So I, come up, I came up with a plan. I knew that I couldn't just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I was too a victim, that I had vanished alongside my wife and her sister. It was a risky move, but I was confident that it would work. I began by staging a break-in at our home. I smashed a wind window and ransacked the place, making it look like someone had broken in and taken us all. I had left a few items of clothing behind along with some other personal touches to make it seem more convincing Then I disappeared. However, to ensure no one got close to me, I started learning of how to spike drinks with drugs. What? Although I did not condone this behavior, it made me feel powerful. What does that have to do with any... What does that have to do with stopping detectives from following you? Oh. I'm uh, pretty sure that was, that was outside at one point, but whatever. Off into the darkness we go. Okay. So we're in a looping hallway of a kind. Alright. Now there's an end of the hallway. <clears throat> Hello? Who is it? Shit, the lights are out. I hope my phone's battery didn't. Oh! Hello? Who's scamping around in here? There, I can see it last. Hello? Who's on the phone? 
Shut up, TV. It's a pretty bad phone light. Yes, yes, I'm coming. This has to be so goddamn far away. It's a big ass room, Jesus Christ. Hello? What do you want from me? Your job, just to move the damn boxes, not to open them. Now you must die as well. Hello! Oh my god, he shot me with no gun! He was powerful. He could shoot me with the power of his mind. He didn't have a god complex after all. Okay, well, that was, uh, Peter's house. That was unexpected. But, uh, yeah. At any rate, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, it's kind of a short one. I'll, uh, have another one up soon. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one.